Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear friends. How are you? Thank you so much for being here today. <coughs> today, we have a new video in this week. We have grammar. So let's see what do we have here. As you can see, I have uh, one sentence, which is uh, uh, Ali speaks English. Ali uh, reads English. I have two different sentences. Now, there is some kind of common thing between these two. <clears throat> there is something common. So uh, in the first one, I speak about Ali. In the second one, I speak about Ali. So in some cases, we can just make them one. We can make them one, one side, one long, longer side. So we say Ali speaks English and you can say he reads it here. So as you can see, this sentence is longer and it contains both ones. I can, I can make it less by saying Ali speaks and reads English. And I can say Ali speaks English and reads it. So here, as you can see, we use the, the word and to connect two sentences together. They have to be related. And is used to show similarity. So we use and to connect similar things. But we can use it for more than one purpose, by the way. What if I use the word but? So I can say Alice speaks English, but he can't read it. He doesn't read it. So here, but use, is used for contradictory ideas. So number one is opposite to number two. That's why I use but. But if I'm going to use or, then I give you choices. Either use this one or use this one. Choose one. So here are the three conjunctions that we're covering for today. How to use and, how to use but, how to use or. And I use the three of them to connect ideas together. This is what we use them for. So today we're covering this point. Let's see how we can answer this. Yes, here, here, here. As you said, this is an explanation that we have just finished. Conjunction is a word that connects words or groups of words together or, or sentences. I have the word and, which shows similarity to show similarity. And we have the word or for choices. We have but for opposite ideas. And here we, you have to answer these, uh, uh, this exercise. Question one, you have a sentence and you just need to just write the conjunction. So if you have and, write and, but or or. And the second one, you have to circle the conjunction. So both ideas are the same. They, are, they cover the same idea. Okay, now let's see the second page here. Uh, yes, here. It's so easy and it's, it's grammar as well. Here, I have to read this selection, read it carefully, then I try to answer these questions. Like what conjunction can we use to complete sentence one? And by the way, you can use and, um, you can use and to connect uh, two sentences that are uh, for different purposes. However, we're going to stick to the idea that we use and for similarity, but to show differences and all for choice. Uh, thank you so much and goodbye. Bye-bye.